All right, it's time for us to talk parenting. And uh, today the focus is on what to do in cases of sexual abuse and vices. And of course, uh, to do justice to this subject is Omolayo Oyawi. She is a speaker an author, a certified Montessori instructor, as well as a lover of children with special needs. Now, she also founded Essence for Women, which is an online video podcast aimed at improving the lives of women. And it is indeed such a pleasure to have her in the studio with us this morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you too? Very well. You wear so many hats. However, today's subject <sighs> yeah. is one that... Um, I'm sure so many people, it resonates with them, especially those who have suffered it. Yeah. Uh, so let's just uh, hit the ground running. Okay, okay. Let's talk about how, as a parent, you deal with your child being sexually abused mm. or you find out your child has been invo involved in one sexual vice or the other. The other. Okay, so um, it's, um, I mean, it's, it's a very bad sight, all right, to, to find out that your child has been abused. And, you know, it's worse how parents get to know. That's even where the pain comes from because usually children don't work up to their parents, especially if you've not been that friendly parent who's talked about sex and all of that. So when they get found out from a neighbor or a school or something, it's, it's more painful for a parent. And like, like I, wrote, I wrote a book on sex education for children. It's, on, it's online. You can find it on teller.co you know, and there are hard copies everywhere. You see, um, it's important how you, your first response, mm. that's going to determine how well the child and how fast the child is going to be healed. Mm. And I mean, and we, you know, I, I was talking about emotional healing last week, how it takes time because you can't feel, you can't touch emotional pain. Yeah, so it takes time and so um, for, for you to get your child to understand who they are and how that they abuse the sexual abuse does not define them it depends on how you react mm. and so the first thing i'd say is do not panic mm. do not um i know you'll be you'll be you'll be you'll be pained i know i mean it's a way parents knows how, how how that would touch deeply into your soul but you need to calm down don't panic don't show the child that you you are you are out of control mm. let the child know first of all i love you mm. i'm here with you we'll work through this together and i want to hear more what was done to you? Who did what? Where was it done? When a child knows that I can express everything to my parents, they will tell you everything. And how, why, why it's important you hear everything is how to prevent it. So you know who is even involved. We need to expose this person. We need to, we need to arrest this person and all of that. So you need to understand that. And then uh, you, would need, you, would, you would need some um, therapy yourself. I mean, seeing all of that, hearing all of that. But you don't want to pour it out on your child, all right? So you want to take out time to always be there for the child. Never bring up the case of, sec of the sexual abuse when your child has done something wrong, maybe later, later in future. Don't say, oh, that was why this happened African to you. African parents, yeah. hashtag. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like, never do that, mm. all right? Never, never Never uh, uh, blame the child mm. that, oh, I told you not to go there in the first place. Oh, I told you not to be his friend in the first place. No, 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 no. Never do that. Because the first thing it, sexual abuse attacks is the child's sex, self-esteem. Yeah. Because you feel like, I'm worth nothing. If this could be done to me, I'm worth nothing. Mm. And you want to over and over again talk words of affirmation to this child to say, mm -hmm. that is not who you are. There's more to your life than this. Mm -hmm. I want to be there for you. You can express your anger, your pain. You can cry on my shoulder. That's the kind of, that's the kind of um, parenting you're supposed to show your child. Mm -hmm. Let your child say in the future, I was sexually abused, but my mother was there for me. My mm -hmm. father was there for me. Mm -hmm. Because nobody would understand them. And protect your child. Mm -hmm. Protect your child from being stigmatized. Mm -hmm. So when you go out there and somebody say stand up for your child with your full chest mm. this is my child i'm going to protect my child my child is not the abuse they've suffered all right wow. and of course don't talk about it to anybody mm. except except your a child counselor. gives you the per permission yeah except if yeah a, a counselor a therapist i'm a child behavior therapist mm. so usually you want to see a child behavior therapist to say how do i how do you help this child mm. but don't broadcast it wow. don't don't call your parents Mm. Or, or your husband, or your friend. Come and see what happened. <laughs> yeah, mm. do you understand me? Accept your child, 
expressly gives the permission to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely important. Even when the child gives permission, sometimes you, you, you need still, to be sure. Yeah, because that, sometimes well, this it person, might be due to the stress at that moment. Yeah, like, yeah. The child probably is even thinking um, straight. straight. Yeah, but yeah. then, of course, uh, we, we've, we, we've talked on what to do you know, for the child. Yeah. But then, of course, we have adults mm. who are still mm. suffering the trauma mm. of their childhood sexual yeah. abuse um, yeah. um, experience. Yeah. yeah. How then do you reach out to such people? Because so many young, uh, so many adults are still trapped mm. in, in that, that particular age. Yeah. 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 So, you know, um, so because it's, it's been a while, I mean, happened when you were a baby or, or a child, mm. you tend to feel, oh, I'm over it. Oh, I've forgotten about it. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. The truth is, for so many people, the child sexual abuse trauma kind of forms your emotional status, so to say. Mm. It, it, it's, you, and it's, um, it's, not, it's not conscious. Mm. It, it doesn't happen consciously. Mm. You don't know. That's why certain adults are very defensive. Mm. You talk about something and they'll be like, what, ah, what are we talking about? Exactly. What, what, what with all the you action? The yeah. So, so, so I, I found out that about myself earlier, mm. you know, and I found out that because I could not defend myself at the point of being abused, mm. every opportunity I got, I wanted to do it. Like, now I have the power to defend myself. Now I have the power to control things, mm. all right? So when you've been sexually abused as a child, you need to dig deep down. You need to zoom into that little child who was abused and say, how are you? Mm. You need to find out if if you never really got over it, mm. and people never really get over it until they talk about it. Mm. So, sweetheart, if you're a mother, a father, an adult, whether you're married or not, and you've been sexually abused, it's a good time to talk about it to someone. Mm. To say, okay, so this happened to me. I don't know if it's, it's still having an effect on me right now or not. You need to talk about it to a therapist. You need to talk about it to a trusted friend who wants to listen. Mm. And I say that the healing comes... The healing comes faster when you're able to describe exactly what happened. Mm. Because um, um, such things thrive in secrecy. Mm. You know it has happened, you just want to keep it there. It's a part of your life you don't want anybody to know about. Mm. Talk about it. Express exactly what they did to you. Express how, how it was painful. Express everything you had to go through. That's where you are relieved. Mm. You know, and that's where you begin to know, okay, this thing I do, this thing I say, is it because of what had happened? Some people... You know, you know yeah. there, there's actually so much to say about this. Yeah. I, it's, it's a thing of passion. Yeah. Uh, especially for someone who has also suffered it before. Yeah. It can be really I know. Uh, traumatic. So much to say, really. And yeah. I must thank you so much because I'm sure you're touching the core of somebody right now. I'm glad uh, to do if that. If you would like to continue the conversation with her, uh, you know exactly how to do so. Of course, uh, we always share the social media handles on TV. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So I'll be here next week. We'll talk more about it. Yeah, it will be amazing. <laughs> yeah. It will be amazing. Yeah. All right, uh, with that, so we will take a break. Of course, you're still watching Wake Up Nigeria. Still more to come. Stay with us.